Hello YouTube, today we're going to be talking about LDU factorization in linear algebra. So we're going to do a quick overview and two examples. So what is LDU factorization? Well first we'll go over the steps on doing the process and then I'll do a quick summary of what it is. So first what you want to do is you get a row reduce your matrix, typically what you do in anything in linear algebra, you're always pretty much get a row reduce. Um, then you're going to keep track of your row operations through the identity matrix, similar to LU decomposition. And you're going to perform the elementary matrices on the identity matrix. Then you're going to factor out the main diagonal, diagonal and see um, to get your diagonal element. So pretty much you have a lower triangular matrix through um, the identity matrix. You have your diagonal matrix that you pull out towards the end. And then you're remaining with your upper triangular matrix from the first step when you row reduce as, as normal. So what do those represent? Well, your L, your D, your U. That's where A equals L, D, U um, factorization comes from. And how I like to think about it is similar to L, U decomposition. It's very similar. How I like to think about it is, well, A is your matrix, right? And it can be split up into three different parts in this case. So you have your lower triangular matrix, your diagonal matrix, your main diagonal, and your upper triangular matrix. Now this can be similar to like taking factorization. You have 12. What can the else can 12 be written as? Well, it can be written in three different um, numbers when you factor it down, right? 3 times 2 times 2 um, to make up 12. So it's kind of like the same thing we're doing. It's very comparable. Um, it's kind of like an analogy of what we're, what we're doing for LDU factorization. So let's take this example. We'll do this one first. Example one first. So we got a 2 by 2 matrix. Um, I'd encourage you to pause the video and do simple row reduction. I'm going to go through this fairly quickly in terms of the row reduction steps. So you have 3, 9, 15, 49. You want to make um, your pivot is 3, and you want to get rid of the 15 and make it a 0 on the bottom. So what you do, you um, add negative 5 times row 1 to row 2, and you should get 3, 9, 0, 4. Um, now, pretty easy. What do we do next? Well, we have to factor out the main diagonal. So I'm kind of going a little out of order here because we'll have to keep track of our steps later, but I'd suggest factoring out the main diagonal. So the main diagonal is what? 3 and 4, right? So all you do is write the main diagonal and pull the numbers out and the rest are 0. Okay? Now when you pull out those numbers, um, you're also like dividing by 3 in the first row, for, for example. So when you divide 3 out like that, um, you should get 1 in the main diagonal. When you divide out 4 in the second one, you should get 1 on the main diagonal of the second matrix here. And when you take 9 divided by 3, you should get 3 when you factor out that 3 there. So you have your D, you have your U. Now let's go find our L. So um, we have to keep track of what we did. So we subtracted 5 times, or we multiplied negative 5 times row 1 plus row 2 to yield our new row 2 when we were reduced. So you're going to do the opposite um, on the identity matrix. So you start with your identity matrix, and you're going to perform the opposite operations. Instead of uh, multiplying by negative 5 times row 1, you're going to multiply by positive 5 times row 1 plus row 2. So what would that look like? Um, that's an elementary matrix. And remember, elementary matrices are the action done onto the matrix. That's what it represents, the action. So we're going in the first um, row, right? We're multiplying 5 times row 1, 2 row 2. So the action is done on row 2, so we're going to the second row, and we're doing it um, from row 1. So you put the 5 there in the bottom left. Um, again, review your elementary matrices if that, um, if that troubles you, but that should be a fairly easy step. Cool. Then you have your lower triangular matrix. Now, well, what's the formula? A equals LDU. Um, and you just plug in what you got. You just put all the pieces together. L, D, U. Cool. That's LDU factorization. And let's do another example. Now we have a 3 by 3 matrix. So, uh, row reduction, I'm going to go through this fairly quickly. I encourage you to pause the video and see if you can do it on your own. Make sure you pause it. Okay, here we go. So, uh, 2 times row 1, negative 5 times row 1 to row 3. Um, you should get 4, negative 20, negative 12, 0, 5, 20, 0, negative 5, 19. Again, you're going to want to make sure everything below the pivot is 0 to get your upper triangular matrix. Um, and you should get this matrix here. Now that we have our um, upper triangular matrix, you're going to want to um, pull out the main diagonal. So that would be the 4, 5, and 1, and the rest would be zeros. So you pull those out. 
Then, when you factor those out, that's going to also manipulate the numbers in the uh, matrix in each row that you pulled from. So we technically divided by 4 in the first row. So what's negative 20? Um, so, okay, we divided by 4 in the first row, we divided by 5 in the second row, and technically we divided by 1 in the third row. So when you divide negative, t negative 20 divided by 4 would give you 5, um, and then 4, negative 12 divided by 4 would give you negative 3, um, and then the last one, 20 divided by 5, would give you 4. So that's how you get that um, upper triangular matrix there. Um, so we have our D and we have our U, with our diagonal and our upper triangular matrix. But now we have to keep track of what we did earlier um, from the main, from the identity matrix. So what did we do? Well, we just did the, or just what you want to do is take the opposite steps um, for our row reduction. So instead of, oops, I think these are wrong here. Yeah, I think I put the wrong numbers here. Okay, so those might be mistaken, uh, the dark green there, but the lighter green has the correct um, elementary matrix here. So, so if you notice how it's, instead of 2, we have a negative 2, and instead of a 5, we have a negative 5, and instead of adding row 2, we subtracted row 2. Um, so, just forgot to put that number there, I'll have to fix that. Um, so that will be our lower triangular matrix, and here we have A equals L, D, U, and you simply put those pieces together. We have L, D, and U. And then I fixed the 2 over there, so you can, uh, yeah, that's all fixed now. Okay, well, I hope this was a good practice example um, for LDU factorization, and um, good luck, and keep practicing.